Hello everyone, I'm Chesterk44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Geneforge 4! We just managed to take a look through the Therile Colony and we found out that there's only one area left for us to go through. Spirefield. So, let's head to Spirefield right now. And here we are. There's the group. You track down the caravan which is still completely intact. They're waiting here for, their, for the orders to continue west. Captain Zachary walks up to you. Are you ready to proceed? What do you think we'll find ahead? I think there's just there's a small camp ahead. Then we'll enter the spire fields, and I doubt we'll be able to go out in the open like that without some real problems. Just stay with us and protect us as best you can. Wait here, I'm gonna scout ahead. Alright, hurry back. I just want to make sure everything's cleared out. Not far ahead, you can see that the road is guarded by a small but tough force of shape shaper soldiers and turrets. Lovely. That'll make things a bit tricky. And I think we'll be able to at least look through well enough. Oh! That's a different color. Enraged Fiora. Ooh, he was angry. Alright, looking out. Let's see. There's another one. At least we're clearing out some of the rogues around here, so that's that. Oh boy. Oh, good. That's good. Okay, I guess that's the way around. Oh, another one. Oh, there's another back there. Hello. Oh, jeez, there's one there, too. Okay, you know what? You guys take out that one. There we go, and I will take out this one. Bam. Oh, I didn't even see that one coming. Came out of nowhere. They're trying to flank us. Clever girls. There we go. Okay. Well, here's their nests. Ooh, consumed Fiora? What the hell is consumed? Holy crap! It killed Faye! What the hell was that? Well, we got a charm, but holy son of a... Well, now we need to remake Faye. Great. Just great. Let me just take a look through the rest of this little area back here. God damn it. Faye! No! Ah, oh, jeez, no! Okay, so that taken care of, let's, uh... Let's go remake Faye. For some reason, Spirefield is green. And again, we now have a camp ahead that we need to cl go through. I can see it out there. Oh, wait, there's something here. Dumping Pit Forsaken 3. Do not enter without proper protective gear. Ah, this is that dumping pit we were told about. There's a foul smell in the air here. The trees look sickly and twisted, and the ground is covered with greasy green stains. You are approaching a dumping ground, the destination for the toxic leftovers of Shaper experiments and occasionally of the malformed and dangerous but still interesting creations. It doesn't look like anyone has come out here to look after things in a while. Maybe dangerous. Yes, I imagine. Oh, yep, I can see a creation right there. That is now dead. Well, let's go take a look in there. No idea how long this is going to be, but what the hell. Your eyes burn. Your skin burns. The inside of your mouth feels like it is covered in chalk. You enter the dumping pit. Shaper work created a lot of noxious sub substances. Impure essence. Chemicals used to clean and polish crystals and to make equipment. The byproducts of distillation and, poison crea and potion creation. These substances are dangerous. Much has been lost when the waste of Shaper work was left alone or allowed to leak into the soil. And thus, dumping pits were created. Dumping pits contain powerful crystal pylons which, when energized, burn away the foul waste, sending it up into the air where it will hopefully cause fewer problems. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, nobody has been down here to activate the machinery in some time. The air is full of poison. The longer you stay down here, the more it will hurt you. Great. Just great. Bat shoes! Those can be sold. Wear protective gear. Yeah, we don't really have anything to spare. 
Well, there's some stuff we can use. You start to choke. Your chest hurts. The foul atmosphere of the pit, pit is starting to take effect. Well, this is gonna be a bother. This is going to be a huge bother! Oh good, this is very good. This is extremely useful. Thank Christ this is here. Okay. That probably isn't going to open. Nope. Well at least we have some place where we can uh, heal up. That one's dead. I can't see it! Bloody pillar in the way. Ow. Ow. Dead. Dead. What's this book say? This was a ledger where the materials deposited here were cataloged and the cleaning times were listed. The toxic air that is working on your lungs also has a dire effect on paper. The pages of the book crumble as you flip them. You aren't able to learn anything from it. Hey, a level up! Excellent! What can we improve, eh? Uh, let me think... Mm. I am going to improve mechanics and melee weapons. Because I have a feeling we might need that. There is a control panel here. Like most shaper devices, it is a mix of living and unliving, a shaped creature held in a stone and metal frame. Crystal fibers run from the creature into the floor and from there to the machinery of the pit. You immediately see that the pit has been neglected for too long. The creature in the control panel is dead. It will take several skilled shapers to replace it and repair the damage before anything can be done to purify this pit. Oh, great. The door to the west has a sign next to it. Entry Quarantine Chamber. You need to pass through several doors to reach the dumping chambers. They are designed to hold in the poisons, although they don't seem to be doing a good job of it. If you want to proceed, there is a chance that the quarantine doors can't be opened from the other side. If you enter, you might not be able to get back out this way. Let's not go in yet. Let's... No, no! Yes. Let's uh, stay out here for now, heal up and such. Okay? Get completely healed up in this place. Come on. There we go. And there. How much essence do I have? 21. Not too bad. Oh, jeez. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay, good. Now, let's get over there. This is going to be a bother. I can already tell. Let's see. Go through the door. You approach the quarantine door. Unlike the control panel, the door still functions in the caustic atmosphere. It opens and you step through. Alright. Once you are inside the quarantine chamber, the door behind you slides shut and the door ahead slides open. You immediately hear noises ahead. Snarling and hissing. The shapers haven't just done poisons and other slime here, they also left creations. Creations that are now completely rogue and very hungry. Why am I not surprised? We're probably going to have to be in combat mode throughout this place. Oh, hello. Oh boy, rune warded thods. Well, great. Maybe we shouldn't be in here yet. Well, that one's dead at least. Ow. Can't see target, come on. Right there. Almost. Ow. Oh, I'm cursed. Great. Oh, good. Don't have enough action points. God damn it. Oh, boy. Crap, 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 crap. Get away from there. Get away from there. Get away from him. Back, 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 back. Not enough spell energy, god damn it. There we go. Right. Pick that up. There we are. 
slowed. Wonderful. Uh, a couple items there we can take. Sorry about that. Uh, just got a random thing from the phone. Yeah. Anyway. You find the source of much of the poison in the pits. The waste was stored in canisters here, which have become corroded and are starting to leak. Your inability to do anything about the situation is painful. Whether the pits are neglected because of the war or something else, things are only going to get worse. To the northwest, you can see that most of the canisters have been breached and the floor is covered with ooze. The air is far more harmful in that direction. Well, maybe we should stay away from that direction, then. I do see something there, but it would probably be a very bad and very stupid idea to go up there. Okay, what was taken? Fine skin, Artilla eye, Codigen, uh, minus cold resistance, but I like that. What does that say? Warning, high volatility chemicals, high grade protection required. You know what, I think I, I think I'm willing to risk it. Oh jeez, right after I, uh, carrying floors. Okay, now, what is up in here? Ah, Jesus! Horrible idea, very, very horrible idea. Right, not going that way. It is a very, very bad idea. Oh, great. One of these. Okay, this is bad. Oh, jeez, there's two of them? Great. Just great. Well, these are gonna kill us. Well, let's stop consuming that. Oh, great, I'm dead. And great, now I need to go through the entire place again. There we go. This works. Oh crap, another? God damn it. <sighs> okay, at least that's two of them dead. Let's see what's in here. Secure holding. Sure, let's take a look. What is in secure holding? Spray crystals. Yes, yes, please. And... Not everything left in here is junk. Sometimes volatile but valuable items are stored in the dumping pit where they can sit quietly, not hurting anyone until they are needed. This is a storage room. A pair of heavy doors to the north keep the contents of the room safe when the caves are flooded with cleansing flame. Most everything of value has already been removed. However, you see something that looks interesting on the table at the east end of the room. It is a vial of a thick, dark substance. Might be valuable. Sometimes you will find items that can be made into powerful magical items. A vial of blood poison. Lovely. Alright. That is a saving. Nothing else of use here. Okay, good. That's something of use. All that leaves is... up there. Again. Okay, how about... Well, that killed that. Hey, good, it's dead! Oh, great, I see another one up there, though. Oh, wonderful. Okay. I missed entirely. God damn it. Well, at least it's only the one. So there's that. There we go. Okay, we're good. That should be all of them.
There. Good Jesus. Actually use one of those as well. I need GCP beep. We're almost out of spores. Yeah, those would be helpful if they actually worked. Oh great, more creations. Alright, kill that one. Seemed to let seemed like it was gathering a bunch of random stuff. Research notes, speaker, shaper equipment, nothing of use. Oh, there's more of them. Alright. Oh boy. And it slowed me. Well, on the plus side, slowing doesn't isn't going to be as big a deal now that I think about it. I mean, as long as you have one point, you can still do stuff, which is very, very good. Chilling Band, plus two armor, plus 15 fire resistance. I think I'll take this. Wooden shield, mm, nothing else ever, oh, I'll take that and we can sell it. Moving on, we're getting close to the end, I think. Almost, just a little further. The, the pits aren't only for dangerous chemicals and creations. They also serve as a junkyard where shapers leave the equipment and paperwork they don't want outsiders to have. You stare out over a field of crumbled papers, rusting alchemical equipment, tarnished crystals, and unidentifiable parts. To you, none of this is valuable. To someone who wanted to learn more about the shaper's arts without permission, this junk would be very interesting. I imagine so. Oh! Didn't see that one. Okay. And there's a canister here. We are dead. Oh, jeez! Great. Kill it! There, it's dead. Okay. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Essence Shield. That sounds useful. This was once someone's magical journal, probably a shaper's. Someone must have thought very little of the unknown shaper to dump the, his writing here. The paper and ink of the journal is of very high quality, which is why some sm small sections of the book are still readable. Only one section, however, seems relevant to you. As usual, they won't let me have access to the anvil. A few mistakes, and I am branded an idiot forever. But this technique is not mine. It was found in the papers of Susia Island, some of the few brought back from that place. I have already attained the perfected greaves I need for the process. Hopefully the process will make this leg armor sufficiently unencumbering for a true shaper. Then all I will need are the crystalline fibers to set inside and the solidified flame to infuse into the metal. That should be all it takes for the process. You can't make out any more of it. Okay then. General Trash, there's the other side. We are out of here. Yes, there's the exit. Let's get out of here. Onwards. We got some stuff to deposit, and then we will go up and finish clearing out. Since we're out here, we may as well tell this person about it. I found that trash pile you were after. Mercedia tries to hide her excitement when you describe what you found. She doesn't succeed. You can see this broad smile in the shadows of her cowl. I am I intrigued by this news, and in return I might consider, if you kept it quiet, telling you a few lesser things about the magical arts. Also, just so you know, one of the doors to my storerooms is now unlocked. Let it never be said that Mercedia is unkind to those who help her. Uh, hmm. Quite a few spells. Rack? Places a curse on a nearby enemy, making your attacks against it more effective. Mental magic and spellcraft. Sounds useful. Speed is definitely more important, though, so I'm going to buy that. The rest, I think we can leave. Ice spray. Strikes one enemy with a lance of ice, does more damage than firebolt. I think I can buy that as well, because why not? Okay. That... How much energy do we have? Because... We can cast it twice. Before we run out of energy. Huh. And a canister. War blessing increase. Excellent. Ice crystals dried herbs, and some beautiful crystals. Okay, now we gotta head back to the north. We got more things we need to clear out. Okay, let's take a look further in the north section of this before we go clear out that camp. Oh, no, no, no! 
Never mind. I guess we have no choice but to clear out the camp now. Well, let's do that. Blessing! Hello. Let's see. Captain Verrill, Private Thanner, Plated Artilla. Alright. Artilla first. Easily killed. You guys work on Thanner. Ah! Okay, that was a turret I did not expect. Fine, you two work on the turret. Ah! That could have gone better. Okay, so there's turrets over there that we gotta watch out for. Still, we can get pretty close to him. Let's, uh... Ooh. Shields a single target and increases its health. The effect lasts until... I like that. Very nice. And a cast... And the usage of that. And a war blessing. Now we should do well. Let's start with him. Ow. Well, he's dead now. Still took a lot of damage, but... Ooh, Thanner is strong. Ah! Okay, attacking the, getting the attention of that was a bad idea. And in fact, we're probably about to die. I mean, both of my creations are about to die. Yeah, I'm about to die. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I want to clear this out before we do anything else. All right. Hmm. Days. That could work. Or we do this. How about... That. Then again. Perfect. And now... Stab that. Perfect! This'll work. Ow. That one's dead. Oi! Get away from him! Thank you. Now. A cure. Perfect. That was perfect. Iron broad sword. Not needed. Spray crystal? That could be used. Right. That taken care of, let's see if we can take care of this. I don't want to get my creations too close in there, so... Hmm... How about we try out... Ice Spray? That is strong. There we go. Hmm... <laughs> this is Spire Field, a barren plain full of natural stone spires, shaped by countless years of wind and sand. Hardly anything grows here, but it is a lovely and haunting sight. There has been a lot of fighting here. You can see the signs of a worrying number of explosions. There goes that turret. There's a dead body there. Now let's... Well, we can take care of these. There. That's taken care of. And there's rats up there. Quite a few rats, in fact. Hey, we leveled up! Huzzah! Oi, get away from him! Uh-oh. No! Moyes! Oh, Christ almighty! Moyes is almost dead. Okay. I'm fine. I still want Moyes to live. There we go. Okay. That was a close one. Very close one. Alright. Not much else in this camp here. 
Doesn't look like there's anything up here either. Oh, there's a body there! Nice catch. Alright. Kinda low on essence. Let's see. What's back up here? Oh boy! A large artilla! Well, the large artilla is dead at least. And so are the rest of the artilla. Good! Coins, lovely crystal, and healing spores. Just what we need. Moving on... Still more explorations to do. Another dead body, and... Looks like there was a previous attempt at a caravan here. This passage leads west to... The Cairn Gates! We're almost out of here! We still need to finish clearing this place out, though. So, let's keep looking. What the...? Someone was buried out here. Buried alone, probably some time ago. The wind has scoured the tombstone blank. Looks like someone was trying to engage in a little grave robbing. There is a rusty pick on the ground here, along with a lot of bones. Though, is, though, interestingly, far more bones than you would expect to find in one grave. Looking in the hole, you see a leather belt. Considering how old and dirty it is, it's in remarkably good condition. Let's see what it is. You pick up the belt and brush the dust off of it. It is in even better condition than you thought. It is a lovely piece of workmanship. As you admire it, the air grows very cold. There is a hostile spirit haunting this place, and it has a standard procedure when someone tries to disturb its grave. There it is. And... Oh, boy! Yeah, it's angry. Oh, jeez. That was a bad idea. Right, message received. We are going to leave that belt there and not take it, whatever it is. You shouldn't rob graves, in fact. Something doesn't seem right about this, you leave the belt alone. Yeah! And we know what goes, what's in that direction, and there's the other mines there we need to take out, and we are almost through this. Yeah, we've pretty much ex cleared out everything, so let's get back and escort the caravan to the next area. Sorry about the long wait. Let's go. The caravan prepares its weapons and begins to head west. At this point, they aren't really worrying about looking like an innocent caravan. In these lands, anyone is a target. Not a problem. We've already cleared out the camp down there, and the two turrets they had guarding this place. One of the serviles makes a terrified whimpering sound and points to the west. You can see four-legged creatures running toward you, moving quickly and low to the ground. Even from a distance, you can see their sickly purple skin. Roamers! Blowing up once. Explode when hurt. Try to kill before they too close. We wait here. I will do just that. Where are they? There they are! Alright then. Oh boy. A miss. There we go! More coming. Once again, fire! Damn it, you missed again. More explosions. Alright, you come up here. Oh boy, why did I do that? Fine. Move back away a bit, and fire! Ow! More coming! Fire! There are a lot of them. Still more! Jesus, how many of these are there? More dead? Still coming. No, stay back! The Romer Swarm seems to have mostly subsided. The caravan rushes to the west, trying to get past the, straggl the stragglers, stragglers before more arrive. I think we've killed all of them. Go. Alright. Alright, they've all made it out. Good. All of them are safe. Do we, yeah, we have some stuff to sell, so I'll go do just that. Well, that was... This is going to be a very long episode. Probably a two-parter due to all the stuff that happened in it. Still, we're almost out of here. All that's left is the Cairn Gates. 
we'll head there in the next episode and get this caravan out of here and into freedom. Till then, I am Chester44, that is Enrique, Moyes, and Faye. This has been a Gene Forge 4 Let's Play, and I will see you all next time.